In its response to the lawsuit challenging their plans to expand this roadway, TxDOT says it has exceeded all of the legal requirements for the project. But today, community leaders gathered not far from here to say they're not even close. Their wishes. A coalition of groups gathered in front of the TxDOT state headquarters across the street from the state capitol. They complained that TxDOT missed a wide range of people during the planning for the I-35 expansion. People of so many ethnicities, walks of life and perspectives are coming together because for too long TxDOT has ignored this community and has pretended like their needs, their wishes, their interests don't matter. In addition to filing a lawsuit against TxDOT, the opponents say they also wrote a civil rights complaint letter to the federal government over TxDOT's plan to widen the interstate that has physically divided Austin since 1960. An expansion of 35, reinforcing segregation, reinforcing racism in 2024. We have to move beyond it, and that's why we're taking these actions. But TxDOT says there has been plenty of community input in the planning of this construction project since the beginning. In their statement responding to the lawsuit, they say this is a project designed with the community and for the community, adding, we have carefully followed and even exceeded the environmental and legal requirements to advance this project. And the opponents concede TxDOT probably did what was required. I think that they always will respond that they met their requirements. And it's mostly about checking off the box. Well, they've commented that they received 18,000 comments on this. What they don't disclose in that is that they largely ignored the comments. TxDOT says it doesn't believe the legal actions of their critics have merit, and they intend to press forward to deliver the I-35 Capital Express Central project. Fred Cantu. CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.